The face of cycling in London has changed dramatically within the past year. This is due in part to Mayor Boris's advocation and promotion of cycling transport in the city. The Barclay Bike Hire Program, otherwise known as Forest Bikes, has increased the population of people using bicycles as their main mode of transport. Along with the Boris Bike Hire Program, many new bike lanes and routes have been incorporated into the city streets landscape. Although London is seemingly a shining example of a cycle-friendly city, a majority of riders we interviewed seem to have a different perspective towards the safety of cycling in London. How long have you been a messenger in London? Um, about a year. A year? Do you like it? Uh, it's okay. It's, um, you get to see a lot of the town. You can yeah. Otherwise, see. Yeah. Keeps you fit. Um, money's not so good. No. But on a day like this, yeah. it's a nice job. <laughs> Don't like doing it in the winter or in the rain. Right. When it's a nice day, it's a nice job. <laughs> they get to eat a cool orange popsicle. Yeah. <laughs> They're a bit annoying. The Boris bikes? Why? Um, just the people that ride them. Yeah, as I said, wobbling all over the place. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's been a program for like a year now, has it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was pretty good. Um, as a cyclist on the road, do you, do you witness a lot of hostility from other vehicles like cars or buses? Um, I think our worst enemy is um, cab drivers. Black cab drivers. The black cabs? They drive like they own the road. I've been knocked over by one. You have? And they're just kind of. You'll be going along behind one and uh, just spin around without a signal. If he sees like, someone flagging it down, Go no turn signal? No signal. <laughs> so that's how I was hit. Did he stop when he hit you? He apologized, yeah. You weren't severely hurt? No, he was going quite slow. But okay, still. Still, it's a bit of a shot, isn't it? When he knocked off the. Um, and a white van. Man. And what? Guys who drive the white vans. Oh, yeah. Are they just people in white vans, or are they a business, or...? Just like, kind of... Construction? Yeah. Removal, delivery drivers. Okay. Particularly white van drivers. Yeah. Um, let's do it. So, I've, I've loved it here, but everybody I interview from here, they're like, it's really hostile, and, you know... So when I first started touring, yeah. What's that? When I first started Yeah. Touring, it's quite intimidating. Because it's quite full on. Um, you know, you've got to know what you're doing. Yeah. Unless you stand your ground, you're just going to be yeah. pushed off the road. Right. But I suppose the more you do it, the more you gain confidence. Right. Yeah. I don't know what it's like in America. Yeah. They're not so, not so big on commuting to work on bikes in America. Right? <laughs> Is that your job? <laughs> you got a call? It's not me. So what do you You're not? No. Oh, okay. I saw. Oh, I'm a messenger. Sorry, I thought you said passenger. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, not, yeah, I'm a messenger. How long have you been a messenger in London? Uh, about six months. You like it? No. No? I... <laughs> well, I do, I do like it, but I want to um, move on to something with more money. Yeah. How long have you been cycling in the city for? Uh, about three years. Three years? Um, do you notice any like hostility from drivers, or do you feel pretty All safe? The time. No, really? I'm on the road every day. Like taxis and buses don't have any respect to them, so they want to just go where they want to go. And like if you're in the way, then you're in the way, and they just want to go through. So. Do you get like yelled at or? Uh, no, that's only if you do 
do something stupid. Yeah. If you just try, if you ever take a risk or go for a red light or do something stupid, then you expect to get some right. hostility. But right. being a messenger, sometimes you have to do that. But. Right. but you don't get like run off the road by angry drivers or no, anything. No, a lot of the time, like mm -hmm. three years ago, it was worse. But like now, really? it's better because, especially with Boris Johnson, uh, right. pro cycling and all, everything is, uh, yeah. What do you think about the Boris bikes? Do you like them? Uh, I think it's a good idea, but it's difficult. It's difficult when you've got people that don't really cycle and yeah. aren't used to cycling in London. You've got those people going down, you know, a lot of them are tourists, so they're right. going down like one way to the wrong way, and I like, don't know what they're doing, and like, it's, just, it's mayhem, and they're the ones that cause hostility with, with other drivers. Right. And they don't look like the best bikes to ride either. No, they're, they're really heavy. I had to go on one once so and it was just like, why do people go on this? Right. It's awful. Right. But it's increased the bike traffic completely, right? Yeah. Yeah, because of, there's so many more bike lanes and everything. Yeah. Everyone else thinks, oh yeah, I'll do that. That's a good idea. Yeah. In the summer, I'll commute to work. And like, right. Which is great for me, because being from America, just to see that, it's really nice to see all the people on bikes here. Yeah. But, uh... But I have noticed them wobbling yeah. all over and getting in my way and just like not looking and you know. The wrong way and just pulling out. And just, yeah. You know, yeah. 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 But uh, what kind of bike are you ride on? Uh, it's a custom cheap basically. I just keep adding bits on it when they keep breaking. You know? Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good. <laughs> We have to start, start again. You ask me the question. What was the question? Oh yes, it's the dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, the dangerous part of the part of the thrill in yeah. cycling. Yeah. It's the animal that comes out. You know, from inside mm -hmm. you, we're all animals. And, but you're 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 like a not a predator, but you're 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 eluding dangers. You know. Right. So it's, you have to be very alert. Uh -huh. It uh, keeps you um, very sharp. Right. You know? We don't um, use stress. Right? Yeah, and you're not in a box, no. you know, and it's free and you get to see no, a lot of things and there's I no. would bet I'm fitter than ha someone half my age. Yeah. So pedestrians have first priority, cycle mm -hmm. second, car is very distant third. Is that yeah. what your your belief is, or do you think that's a common well, that's a fact? I mean, that's, that's just, I mean, you know, it, it, it's. It, but the cars don't understand this. The drivers are all. Right. Very aggressive, and they're driving with their, you know, well, anyway, they're, they're not using their, their right. head, yes, and they're racing to the next red light. The average speed in London is the same as a horse and buggy, so it's 12, <laughs> 12 miles an hour. 12, wow. Something like 12 kilometers, one of the two. Yeah. It's, it's slow, it's, because it's obviously there's so many cars, there's no point racing to the, you know, right. and people are keep knocking down uh, pedestrians and cyclists because they're in such a bloody rush, you know, yeah. because they drive you know, zero to 60 culture, the whole thing of, you know? Right. And that's a big problem. Wow. You know? Uh, and the government has to do something to, 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 you know, some positive social engineering to get more people off their fat arses <sighs> onto their bicycle because, the, right, the health care will be reduced. I mean, it's proven, it's obvious, right? Your stress is gone, right. you know, it's, it's, it's good for your mind, mm -hmm. cycling. It's not just, right? Good for your body, good yeah, for the yeah, earth. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> natural endorphins. You know, you're, you're happy. It's a happy yeah. Drive. Yes. Yeah. Consider it cycling. Royal parks. Yeah. They've got all sorts of initi initiatives here to get people on the road. You know, they have free cycle workshops. Doctor Bike. They have Doctor Bike in the states. Yeah. Doctor Bike is regularly dotted around in parts of London, which is just a bunch of mechanic, bike mechanics. Uh huh. We were just there for free. So oh, cool. and you just go along and they'll fix your bike. And then you can put on new, new brake shoes and, and cables. It's fantastic. So you give them a couple bucks? Or? No, 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 it's totally free. It's the government. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's obviously a, the mayor or. It's a government it's program. Mayor. Yeah, yeah, local government. The mayor. Doctor. Doctor Bike. Wow. Google Doctor Bike. Do they wear like an outfit or? No, just a bunch of really nice, uh, nice people mechanics. come up yeah. to you? No, they're there. They, 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 they set up in different parts of town. There was one here just the other day, a couple of weeks ago. They, because they had cycle, some sort of cycle week, whatever it is, uh, and uh, yeah, they put, they put nice new brake shoes on my bike. On the back. Really? Yeah. For nothing. Yeah. That's incredible. That's, great. That's amazing. Yeah. So wow. it's, you know, the whole idea is that many people have a bicycle which they've used at some point in their life, and it's sitting there gathering dust full of cobwebs mm -hmm. in the garage or 
in the cellar or whatever, right? Or in the garden rusting away. And the idea is get it out, bring it to Dr. Pike, and they'll, you know, get it, get it back to the roof. Cool. Yeah.